If you want to summarize and compare categorical data, then you should consider using a pivot table and a pie chart. Pivot tables help to analyze data and the pie chart makes it easier to visualize and draw insights from the analysis. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I'm Ishraq Kader and in today's video, I'll demonstrate two ways how to create a pie chart in Excel from pivot table. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Before we begin, let's quickly go through what exactly is a pie chart. A pie chart is a circular graph where each slice of the pie represents the proportionate part of the entire data. In Excel's terminology, making a chart from a pivot table is called a pivot chart, although it is exactly the same as a normal Excel chart. Consider the Stella Electronics sales dataset, which contains the item names followed by their category, and lastly, the sales column. Here, I want to use this dataset to create a pivot table and then generate a pie chart using the pivot table. Let's begin with the simplest method to make a pie chart from pivot table. I'll select the dataset from B4 to D14 range, then go to the Insert tab. In the table section, I'll click on Pivot Table. This brings up the pivot table range selection dialog box. We can see the range of our data. We can choose whether to insert the pivot table in a new worksheet or in this worksheet. In my case, I'll choose the new worksheet option and click on OK to proceed. This inserts the pivot table in a new worksheet named Sheet 1. We can see the pivot table and we can also see the pivot table fields have appeared on the right. Next, I'll drag the category field under the rows area. In a similar way, I'll drag the sales field under the values area. Our pivot table is starting to take shape. If I select the sum of sales field in the pivot table analyze contextual tab under the active field section, you'll see sum of sales field is now active. I'll click on the field settings. This brings up the value field settings dialog box. Here you can summarize the value field by different functions. In my case, the sum function looks OK. So I'll click on Number Format. This brings up the Format Cells dialog box. Under Category, I'll choose Currency and click on OK. Click on OK again and our sum of sales is now formatted correctly. Select any of the cells in the pivot table. You'll find the pivot table Analyze Contextual tab has appeared. At the top right corner in the Tools section, Click on Pivot Chart. This brings up the Insert Chart dialog box. Here you'll find different types of charts. In my case, I'll select Pie option. We get lots of pie charts to choose from. For now, I'll stick with the default selection and click on OK. I'll click the plus icon, which is the Chart Elements button. Here I'll check the Data Labels option. We can see the data labels corresponding to each category has appeared in the pie chart. I'll click on the chart title. After total, I'll add the word sales. Click elsewhere to unselect the chart, then I'll go to the view tab. Here in the show section, I'll uncheck the grid lines option. We can see the grid lines have disappeared from the worksheet. This gives it a much cleaner appearance. Our pie chart from pivot table is ready. Simple, isn't it? We can also use VBA macro to generate a pivot table and a pie chart. But first, I'll have to enable the Developer tab. So right-click on any of the tabs in the ribbon, then go to Customize the ribbon. This opens up the Excel Options dialog box. Under the main tabs, if you scroll down, you'll find the Developer option. Enable the Developer option by checking on it and click on OK. Our Developer tab is visible. Go to the Developer tab, at the top left corner, you'll find the Code section. Click on Visual Basic. You can also use the Alt plus F11 shortcut keys. This opens up the Visual Basic Editor. Since I want to apply the macro to all the worksheets, so I'll have to insert a module. Click on Insert and select Module. The Module 1 window has appeared on the right. I'll paste my VBA code inside this module. You can find this VBA macro in the article that is linked in the description box below. 
There are two separate macros in this module, so let's briefly go through how the two macros work. First, enter a suitable name for the subprocedure, which in my case is create pivot table. Then I have declared two variables, pt as the pivot table object and pc as the pivot cache object. The pivot cache object simply represents the memory cache for the pivot table report. Then I've activated sheet 3 which in my case is the dataset worksheet containing the source data for my pivot table. Afterwards, I've used the set statement to set the source data for the pivot table, which starts from the B4 cell reference. The pivot tables.add method creates the actual pivot table and renames it to sales pivot. Finally, the category column is set as the row field while the sales column is set as the data field. In case of the pie chart subprocedure, I have applied the dot add chart to method to generate the pie chart. Lastly, the source data for the pie chart is chosen from the B4 to D14 range. If your dataset resides in a different range, then you need to enter the corresponding cell reference. So to summarize, the first macro generates a pivot table and sets the category column in the row field and the sales column in the data field, while the second macro creates a pie chart using the data from the pivot table. Afterward, I'll click on the first procedure. We can see create pivot table subprocedure is now active. I'll click on the run button. This executes the first macro. Now I'll select the second subprocedure. We can see the dialog box has changed to pie chart. Again, I'll click on run. You can also press the F5 shortcut key. This executes the second macro as well. I'll click this button to go back to my spreadsheet. We can see a sheet two has appeared with our pivot table and our pie chart. If I click on the plus icon, I can add data labels to add labeling to the pie chart. I can also click on the chart title and add the word sales after total. Click elsewhere to unselect the chart. Go to the view tab. In the show section, uncheck the grid lines option. And there you go. Our pie chart and pivot table is complete. In this demonstration, I have shown you two useful methods to create a pie chart in Excel from pivot table. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement and convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!